Hi there, students. Immune, an adjective. Immunity, the noun, both countable and uncountable. And then to immunize as well as a verb. Okay, so let's see. Immune, when I hear this word, I think of immunity against diseases. You are protected against a particular disease because you have your DNA is a specific type or you have particular substances in your blood. So um, he seems to be immune to COVID. Yeah, he just never gets he just never gets it, even though he spent time with people. The immune system. Once you've had chicken pox, you're immune for the rest of your life. Okay, you have immunity to or against it. So notice immune to particularly, immune from as well. Okay, let's see. Um, we can also then use this more figuratively. Not being subject, subject to an obligation. Yeah? Um, so he is um, immune from taxation. He doesn't have to pay tax. Um, okay, so you don't have to do something. You're exempt from something that other people have to do. Um, uh, diplomats are normally immune from prosecution. They're immune to prosecution. <laughs> And then we can also use this meaning not influenced by, not affected by, unresponsive to. So I tried to persuade him with all of my, uh, my words, but he seemed to be immune to persuasion. Once again, the beautiful girl was immune to my charms, not affected by, didn't react to. Um, uh, n not, 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 she didn't react to something. Okay, so, um, yeah, he's, uh, he's immune, uh, to all types of persuasion. Um, wouldn't it be nice to be totally immune to other people's criticism? Yeah, you're just not affected by it. It's like water off a duck's back. Yeah, you are immune to it. It doesn't um, affect you. Yeah, if you're immune to something that happens, it doesn't affect you. It doesn't um, uh, mean that you're not affected by, by, by it. Um, Okay, so let's see. When times are bad, are there any any markets that are immune to an economic recession? Well, yes, I guess a pawnbroker is immune to a recession. Things are good for a pawnbroker in, in a recession. Okay, so um, uh, the politician uh, wished that he were immune from the scandal. Yeah, that um, he was exempt from it, that it didn't affect him. Yeah, so the immune system, yeah, your body, but we use this immune to mean not affected by, not having to do. Yeah, so um, yeah, he seems to be immune to the cold, it just doesn't seem to affect him at all. Um, <coughs> Um, maybe a po uh, a politician might be immune from punishment. Certainly, the king is immune to punishment. Um, the my boss seems to be immune to my wonderful suggestions. Yeah, he just doesn't take any notice of it. Um, if you work in a mortuary. Maybe you become immune to the sight of death, unaffected by, impervious to, resistant to, not susceptible to. Um, so, to be immune to a disease, to be immune to a problem, 
yeah nobody's immune from problems to be immune to the cold to be immune to criticism yeah the immune system um don't think that uh, the systems that we have in place mean we are immune from danger. Okay, so formality, immune. I'm probably going to give it a 6, maybe a 6.5 in formality. Use it in a semi-formal conversation, semi-formal writing or formal writing. Um, how would I say it? Informally, not affected by yeah it just doesn't affect him um and then as to origin it comes from latin immunis in or im not and munis service so immunis in latin meant somebody that didn't have to do public service therefore they are immune so immune from prosecution immune from public service Enough. If you enjoyed the video, give it a rating, subscribe to my channel, and I will see you soon. Bye for now. Immune. Immunity. Immunize.